I've been waiting to do this one. I know a lot of you guys are passionate about it, so I had to make sure I had all of my ideas written out before I went and rushed and did one of these. Now see, the thing with my GM is that it's a very fun game mode. I don't really upload it on YouTube anymore. I used to do a lot of it back in the day. It's a very fun game mode for people who like to see teams get developed, for people who think they can make their teams better, for people who think that they could be a GM of an actual NBA team. But here's the thing. My GM mode is actually very, very unrealistic. Like, don't get me wrong. They definitely have it very, very, very close. And the things that I think they should add probably shouldn't even really be that hard. Now, as a Heat fan, there's a lot of things that I see Pat Riley do that aren't necessarily available in my GM. Now, let's go into depth on this. Now, this guy right here, Dion Waiters, for example. I know you guys are getting tired of me mentioning him, but the, the dude's the go. So, just hear me out. This guy, Dion Waiters, signed with Miami for one reason and one reason only. And that was to regen his basketball career. That was to get all the haters that thought that Dion was not as good as he thought he was to believe in him. Now, did that happen? A lot of people think it's a joke. A lot of people think it's a gimmick. I think that he has made great strides to become a future all-star. Now, whether you think that, that's neither here nor there. But you can't tell me that in my GM, that wouldn't be a cool feature to have. Like, for example, player development should definitely impact whether players of Dion stature go to teams. Like, why is it that Dion Waiter will go to the Kings or go to the 76ers, a team that will not help him become a better player? Now, this kind of goes hand in hand. Each team has their own identity in the league, and I feel like that should be something that 2k allows you to do if you want to make your own team you should be able to build up the identity now obviously you shouldn't be able to just select oh i want to be a team where players go and, and get championships or whatever whatever the case is but i definitely feel like obviously if you are going to be in a meeting with the miami heat what's going to happen pat riley's going to put his rings on the table and tell you if you want one of these sign here if you go to the Spurs, Greg Pop's approach is going to be completely different. Are you for the team? Do you want to win? If you do, I should not have to beg you to join. That's the difference. Now, if you're going to the Cavs or the Warriors, then they will tell you, look, if you sign here, you are an instant favorite to win. And those differences should be a thing in my gym. Now, obviously, players know whether the team is a winning team or not. But I feel like having an identity, an ID for the team, that's beyond just a winning team should matter like the heat this year would be considered a down year for us we didn't make the playoffs but that definitely does not stop key free agents from wanting to go to miami because they see exactly what we can do the culture of of the team things like that i'm sorry if i keep talking about the heat but that's what i know most about so that's what i'm saying now that point leads 100 percent into this one and i feel like this should definitely be a thing like, for example, the biggest free agency thing that happened last year was Kevin Durant going to the Warriors. Now, why did he do that? Do you think he did that because the Warriors offered him the most money? Or because he looked and said, you know what, this is a winning team? Or because his loyalty percentage is down on 2K? No, it has nothing to do with that. He went to the Warriors because the media was on his head to win a championship. Every time the Thunder lost, it was Kevin Durant's responsibility. Russell Westbrook had very low responsibility in the media. I feel like that led a lot to Kevin Durant's decision. Now, do I think that they didn't like to play with each other? Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? But I feel like that should definitely be a thing in this. After your eighth or ninth season, the media should definitely light a fire underneath you to win a championship. Think about LeBron. LeBron would have never left Cleveland to go to Miami. The reason why he did it was because everybody was on his head to win a championship. Now, if you have a MyGM team and you're, for example, the Sixers, and Kevin Durant's a free agent, and the media's under fire on his head. Get a ring, get a ring, get a ring. You're not going to be able to get Kevin Durant. You're not going to be able to do it. Now, if I was a Sixers in my gym now, and I went to free agency, could I sign Kevin Durant? 100% I could. If I had the cast space to do it, 100% I could. But the thing is, is that's not at all realistic. He would never make that move. Now, I know they have to have the loyalty down, whatever the case is. But in my eyes, you all could kill me for this. Kevin Durant is a loyal person, 
but he had to make that move in order for the media to get off of his head. Everybody can say, oh, he could have went anywhere. He could have went to Boston. Oh, they were up 3-1. He could, they could have beat the Warriors. But let's be real with you. Do you think Kevin Durant is looking to go to the finals and lose to LeBron? Or do you think that Kevin Durant is looking to go to the finals and beat LeBron? If they would have went to the finals, who knows if they would have won. But all I'm saying is that the Warriors beat them and the Warriors lost to the Cavs. So we can make whatever assumptions we want, but he had to make that move. These last ones are really just to spice up the game. I'm just going to throw them all out at one time. You guys can take them however you want to take them. But you guys know I always have to have the crazy jokes at the end. Now, for me, I think 10-day contracts should be improved. They don't seem to accept the 10-day contracts whenever you offer them. Now, simulations, I feel like those need to be improved because I feel like they make it as if whatever team you're on, it's harder to win a championship just because you're on that team. No, don't make it like that. Every team should have an equal chance to win depending on your roster. Obviously, if your roster is Google, you shouldn't be able to win. Sign and trade should definitely be a thing. That's one of those things I was talking about that I saw Pat Riley do that we can't do here. That's how they got LeBron through a sign and trade. The D League should definitely be a part of this. Once again, I'm a Heat fan. I'm sorry. We got Whiteside, Tyler Johnson, uh, Willie Reed, so many players out of the D League. And I feel like that should be a definite thing in next year's game. Being able to rebrand without relocation, that's definitely something that should be a thing. You know how many teams I see make new logos and change this and that without having to move the whole entire team? Yeah, we need to fix that. Staff loyalty why would Greg Popovich be coaching the Sixers? Makes no sense. He would never leave the Spurs. Nor would Coach Bo just up and leave the Heat. Not a not a real thing. That needs to be changed. And the scouting system has to go too. Because every time you say go find a sleeper, they just bring you back some waste bucket. Those are all of my ideas. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Like the video. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? <laughs>